Saul Canelo Alvarez is an interesting character in boxing. Looking at his career, there's much to be said and critical of, but let's save that for another day. In this video, I want to focus on something that some of you boxing fans have already astutely picked up on also, and how it changes the perspectives of Mexico's numero uno, and maybe even boxing as a whole. Hey, what's going on? This is Boxing's Objective Observer, and welcome back to Ringside Stories. Feel free to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. Saul Canelo Alvarez's stock is rising. Sure, he represents his Mexican heritage. Sure, he's setting records. Sure, he is a four-weight world champion on the cusp of becoming the first ever undisputed super middleweight world champion. And sure, according to some, he's the best fighter pound for pound already as of the making of this video. However, the reason why Canelo Alvarez's stock is rising, in my opinion, is because of one slight yet crucial adjustment. I always... Seven years, right? Uh, seven yeah, years. seven years. I always think I, I, I need to fight first with Coro, uh, Lara, and all of that guys, and then Floyd, but uh, that's what it is. In every post-fight interview, every press conference, you see Canelo with an interpreter, directly communicating with his main Mexican supporters. Será un ejemplo, es un gran campeón, pero empieza mi era. But now it's my era. And you still see it. But as Canelo himself states, I don't know everything, so the, the difficult thing is I can express myself uh, like I want in English. And that's great for Canelo's career, his market value, and great for boxing. I vividly remember the time when Floyd Mayweather Jr., years before he'd step in the ring with Canelo, stressed the importance of mass appeal. He got a, whole, he got a country behind him, a country. A country. Mexicans been dominating. We know Mexicans and, and black fighters has been dominating for years. And you always get your biggest fights when you match the two together. Money May was talking up his next opponent, Juan Manuel Marquez, with whom Floyd would do great pay-per-view numbers in their September 2009 144-pound catchweight bout, even though that fight turned out to be a mismatch of epic proportions. Although Dinamita had epic wars and was highly touted for his technical boxing prowess, the Mexican warrior spirit which he displayed aplenty during his career, Juan Manuel Marquez lacked the personality to reach superstardom as Marquez was not a trash talker and did not speak English for most part of his career. Now when I say superstardom, I mean on a global level. Here's Juan Manuel Marquez in the post-fight press conference in arguably the biggest win in his career, the Manny Pacquiao 4 fight. Justicia divina y la verdad que esto es gracias a la preparación, gracias a todo el trabajo que hemos hecho. Estoy muy feliz. Este triunfo no solo es mío, sino de mi equipo de trabajo, de mi familia y de todos los mexicanos que nos estuvieron apoyando aquí. This victory, I think the revolution made justice to us. And uh, this victory is not only my victory, this victory is for the entire country of Mexico. I feel very, very happy. And here's Juan Manuel Marquez in an interview after he retired from boxing. If Pacquiao fight with uh, Errol Spence or Terence Crawford, it would be a great fight. Uh, Pacquiao is a, is, a, is, a, is a legend, but Errol Spence is a good fighter. I think uh, Errol Spence uh, has technique, power, it's a difficult fight. It will be a difficult fight for Pacquiao. And when the Pacquiao people told me it's the, the fifth fight for one, 150 million. No, no more, no more. No MMA fights with an MMA no, fighter? No, no, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe I want to play basketball. <laughs> maybe I want to play football. Yeah. No, no, no. I retire. I said no more, no, no, no return. Fast forward to 2021 when in his prime, Saul Canelo Alvarez is starting to appeal to a broader audience. You are a f***ing beast, my friend. <laughs> huh? Hey, next time, May 4th. Yeah, next time, May when 4th, you, when you got your rival finish, keep calm. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> I want to knock him out to the body. No, okay. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. These are the type of comments you'll find on some of your favorite boxing channels these days.
we will commercialize you know, the, the brand of, of Canelo Alvarez in a different kind of way, which is and should be global. I'm pretty sure promoter Eddie Hearn is in his ear because when Canelo was with Oscar De La Hoya on their Golden Boy promotions, Canelo didn't speak English at all. Y era como más se le dificultaba y hicimos esa estrategia desde de, la pensamos de, de, después de que de hicimos la primera pelea. Yeah, every, everything surrounding the fight uh, made him fight that way, but uh, more so was his trainer, Eddie Reynoso, who came, comes up with a game plan. He said that uh, in order to beat Triple G, you have to make him, you have to push him back. And that's exactly what they did. Have you got a message for your UK fans in English? No, I... <laughs> what do you want no, to say? Yes. Anything thank English you, you thank you all the people in UK. Thank you for supporting me and watch my fight. September 17. 16. Could you give the UK fans watching this a little bit of English and tell them to tune in on Saturday? No, just uh, I want to say thank you. Thank you to, to everyone support me from England uh, I, I know I had a lot of, a lot of fans uh, and just uh, be ready for Saturday night. With Canelo speaking English it would also lower the language barrier which would give boxing fans a glimpse of Canelo Alvarez the person. Is Canelo a billionaire? Mm, not yet but I, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna do it. You're working towards that? Yes. Yeah. I'm ready. Uh, like a, like always, uh, I really don't understand if you have more questions for me. We, we, see, we see each other all days. And of course would help build up his fights. Hey, you fight with nobody, man. You want that chunk that You want that You want that with nobody. Please get the f*** out of here, man. It's my night. Yo, go some cojones, man. You want to be the best, fight the guy that nobody really wants to fight. And that's me. Everybody else is, you know, is kind of easy pickings for you. Fight somebody that's going to give you a real deal, real challenge. And I'm undefeated, 30 and no. I've been in the game for a long time. So what, what, what's the... And if you can beat me, why don't you come beat me like you beat everybody else? Take what I have. And I personally think that's great for boxing, especially if Saul Canelo Alvarez becomes undisputed super middleweight world champion. And now you have three pieces of the 168 pound title. There's one more to go. Is Caleb Plant who you want next? That's the plan. That's the plan to go for, for, the, for the bell. And I'm coming, man. I'm coming, my friend. Do you think you can have that? Do you think that fight can be made? I hope so. I hope the fight made easy and then give the fans that fight and the free Mexica unified fighter in the, in the history. Because if Canelo is considered to be the face of boxing, if he keeps working on his craft, if Canelo keeps improving his level of English as he is improving as a fighter, the world will be Saul Canelo Alvarez's oyster and boxing might even be able to follow his lead and grow as a whole. Payday, you want payday, I know that. Payday, you want payday, I know that. What are your thoughts on Canelo's ability to understand and speak English? Leave a comment below and let's have a conversation. Feel free to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. This is Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day.